Hey everyone, good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, <laughs> depending on what your time zone is. So, I want to finish this Yongle game. Maybe we'll do it today. It's turn 195, so there's a good chance. Hopefully I can remember what was happening in this game <laughs> and not confuse it with the recently finished Rome game. That was a fun one too. We did get a few cities through loyalty pressure, that, that was fun. I don't think I'll be getting any more that way. Yeah, but we did get a bunch. Portugal is doing really well, maybe a little bit too well. With that said, I don't know if I want to go to war with them, because they are still way ahead in tech count. I did catch up in science per turn, but in terms of tech count, they are well ahead of me right now. I might have to wait for nukes. Nukes would make it very, very easy with how close they are to me. I could wreck them with nukes. They have a lot of really crappy cities to the north, but all of their actual good cities are concentrated in this one small area. So really, nukes would solve this problem entirely. How far away are we anyway? Okay, still not quite there. I need combined arms to see where uranium is. If I don't have uranium, then obviously we won't be getting nukes. Or rather, I'll have to take it from someone or buy it from someone. Amenities... Okay, all the cities are content. I don't need hydroelectric dam. About to finish neighborhood in Beijing. Right, the Beijing was capped on housing. I think Beijing is the top population city right now. Like everywhere on this entire map. I'm pretty sure nobody has a bigger city than I do. Yongle has been quite fun to play. How many resources do I have now? Uh, yeah, not that many. Still got a little bit of excess coal, potentially. So I could grab a coal power plant. Uh, this city might need a neighborhood district soon. And by soon I mean basically right now. I would prefer to keep the forest. Might have to go with a plus four. That's what I'm thinking. Can I swap some tiles? Yes, but none of these will be good for a neighborhood. Does it need a sewer? Oh yeah, it still needs a sewer. Let's just grab a sewer first. I think I still need that. Uh, for the boast? Yes, I do. If I decide to utilize that boast. But yes, we should get a few swords for sure. Right, this is one of my newest cities over here. We got that for loyalty pressure, as you can tell by the city name. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. I don't like that it's right next to an active volcano, but I guess it was free, so I'm not going to complain too much. Magnus is here. We can chop this. And let me speed up the next builder. Or I can just buy the next builder. I can afford it. Yes, I can afford it. So either industrial zone or a campus. Uh, I could get a pretty decent campus over here, actually. That's a pretty nice spot. It would be a plus four. Okay, plus four it is then. There, saved five turns. Good enough. As for the spy, uh, that's a brand new spy. Gain sources. By the way, I might be doing some games from my backlog in the near future, and by that I mean the next few months, perhaps. I even came up with a potential title for it. With the help of AI, but I really like the idea. It will be called Backlog Be Gone. 
And I really like that, it's quite catchy. And I have so many games that I wanted to play, I just never had the time to do it. Like, it's way too many. Way too many. I actually had to remove some from my list because the list was getting too long. Right, so like I said, I will not be attacking Portugal just yet. I need better tech, maybe nukes. So perhaps a little bit later. All right, that's uh, the Petra city. Looks pretty good to me. I guess I can pop a great wall on the desert because I can't really use it for anything else, can I? Oh yeah, I do have... No, there's Nazca line here already. Both of them. I would need an actual improvement. Okay, I don't think any of these city-states have one. Well, monastery, but I would have to spend seven envoys. That's probably not really worth it. Yeah, I think most people do. So, in that sense, I really like that name, because uh, it's catchy and it's probably relatable. I mean, who doesn't have dozens of games they paid for and feel bad for never having the time to play? <laughs> I know why, though. In my case, it's also many games I was sent keys for and never had the time to check them out, but it's also games I actually bought and never had the time to play. It's both. All right, we got our tier three government. Let's grab that right away. I am keeping liberalism, I'm keeping five-year plan, we'll keep forced modernization, colonial taxes are good enough, rationalism looks decent, plus 21, my income is fine, so I'm probably okay without gold policies. A lot of my cities are almost capped on housing, so Medina Quarter might not be a bad idea. I'm also almost uh, out of coal for coal power plants, so drill manuals might be good too. And some AIs are still buying nitre. So let's get the drill manuals. Oh yeah, uh, actually Republican Legacy, right here for the wild card. And for economic, Either Medina Quarter or Rationalism. Let's just get Rationalism. That's still worth it. That's about 5% science boost here. Okay, and we got computers boost. Right, I'm about to get the refining. We will need some oil. Hopefully we have some. We'll find out. Next up in civics, I can grab a professional sports or just go for cold war and then rapid deployment. Let's get professional sports, unlock the stadium. I don't have entertainment complex or two. So there's Beijing, 29 housing now. It will grow pretty quickly. It has 50 excess food right now. Uh, partially because of the vampire castles. Vampire castles are so good. Hmm. If I do go to war with Portugal, War Department might actually be quite helpful. But it will be a waste if I don't go to war with them. So it's a bit of a tough one. How many great work slots do I have? Not that many. Oh, can I get a theming bonus? We can check. Uh, 
Okay, I have two classical artifacts created by Pedro and Canada. So I would need a third classical artifact. Let's see if anyone is selling. Nope, nobody. Well, that's disappointing. Nobody is selling a single artifact at all. Okay, that's really disappointing. Okay, religious. Would that work? Yeah, it would. Okay, that would actually work. I could do that. Let's just do that real quick to get uh, that theming bonus. Uh, I can straight up accept it, but I don't want to pay this much. Uh, I'd rather actually trade my great work for theirs instead of doing this. So we keep our religious work. Here, we'll trade the portrait. I'll still have to pay extra. Maybe they will take resources instead. Okay, they might take the resources. You want this? Aluminum? Oh yeah, he will take like three. Alright, that's a good deal. That's one. And now I need the other. I'll have to wait four turns to move it, but alright, at least we'll get it done. It's fine. Thank God for the quick deals mod. It makes this shit so much easier and faster. Because it's always annoying looking for deals like this. And the quick deals makes it so much faster and more convenient. Uh, let me double check what I actually have here. Okay. So this will do. Will he trade for mine? I hope so. Okay, he wants a lot of money. That's a little bit much, but let's see if he's willing to buy something. Maybe like coal, aluminum, because I'm not paying that much. <laughs> I guess it's not the best deal of all time. But I'll take it anyway, just to get that theming bonus. So that'll do. I just need to wait four turns to move this. And then we'll get the bonus. Okay. Shame I can't do the artifacts, but oh well. At least we got it done. Yeah, if I could only keep one single mod... Okay, no, but I would have to keep at least two mods at this point. The two must-have mods for me would be a Socrates Act simple UI adjustments. Playing without this, like, is actually awful, because it has so many simple features that you would assume, like, are basically part of the game by now. Or rather, if you always play with Socrates simple UI adjustments, you can't really tell anymore what's part of the base game and what's part of this mod. <laughs> it has a few features I just can't play without, you know? So that and quick deals. I don't think I could play without these two. But also the pins, the map tags. That would probably be the third one. I could maybe do alright without map tags, but... I would not want to play without quick deals anymore or without simple UI adjustments. Just no. You know, this is all a great example of why I think every strategy game at least really should be moddable. It should make it easier for modders to do things. Because there's no possible way you can have everything in the game. Like, everything people will come up with, all the small incremental improvements just to the UI, for example. You just can't do all that. 
So let people mod it, damn it, and do it themselves over time. There's no reason not to let people do that. Especially in strategy games, where having proper information is so important. Just my opinion. It's really my uh, big pet peeve. Strategy games that don't allow you to mod anything. Or even actively try to lock out all the modding. It's actually awful. They should feel bad. Alright, this one is capped on housing now. It's still building the sewer. Same goes for XCOM 2. Like, my mod list for XCOM 2 at this point is like a few hundred mods long. But a lot of these mods do like one very simple thing. But that one simple thing just makes your life so much easier. And there's no possible way the developer can come up with all this stuff in advance. Because there's always something you can improve in the UI. Especially in a game that's many years old. And like, the longer you play a game, the less time you want to waste on things that are, well, a waste of time. So the older the game is, the better people get at like coming up with these UI adjustments that just save you time, make your life easier, more convenient. I'm still a bit torn about whether to build War Department or not. I don't know. I won't necessarily need extra slots for great work. Alright, I'll get the War Department. Because that's really good if you actually are fighting someone. I think I got three vampire castles already, right? And we don't have the last policy yet. Not quite sure where the fourth one is going to be. I suppose I'll have to think about that. It could be somewhere down here, perhaps? I see some options. Alright. That's one turn away now. Well, there it is. I still have uh, Eiffel somewhere. Where is he? Right here. Uh, with two charges. So I can use him to bust some wonder. Unfortunately, uh, I can't get Amonsen Scott Research Station. <laughs> not on this map, not in my position on the map. Or location, rather. But, yeah, I can figure something out. We do have a bunch of wonders available. It's a shame I don't have a coastal city. That's been the annoying part about this game. I did take this one, but it doesn't have a single coastal tile. Yet another reason to go to war with Portugal. They stole all of the coast. Like, they took all of the coast here. They left nothing for me. Nothing whatsoever. Greedy bastards. Ah yes, gentle eruption. I'm sure it's very gentle. Well, let's just buy that builder then. No, I definitely need to do that. Are there any more antiquity sites around here? I think there are a few. Okay, there are three over here. That's enough for one more museum, easily. One more museum then. More culture would be nice too. This wouldn't necessarily be a very good theater square. Uh, some more amenities also wouldn't hurt, actually. What else? 13 turns to build Crystal Redentor. I don't necessarily need that though.
So 10 pop in this CT, it probably won't be getting much more than this. Oh yeah, there's an antiquity site over here and I can't build over it until I excavate it. I'll just pop some Campos research grants, actually. I need to catch up to Portugal anyway, in terms of tech count. So, right, I can still get a Nazca... Wait, I thought you can't have Nazca lines next to each other. I guess I was thinking about something else. So I could still have one here. Yeah, sure, might as well, right? <laughs> Look at the style now. Five food, five production, two gold, three fate. Yeah, not bad. Okay. So... I need one more mine over here, so we'll get that. I suppose maybe this line wasn't necessary. It depends on how much more population I'll be getting here. There are a few tiles we're not working yet. Ten turns for a spy. Right, workshop. And my spy was captured. A bit unfortunate, but alright. Can we get him back? Uh, I think I need his dialogue to kick in because I can't click on deals. It's a bit of a glitch. Yeah, there we go. Now we can do it. How much will he ask for? Oh, he's not going to do it at all? Really? Come on, don't be that way. No, he will do it. It just doesn't work. Man, this option has been bugged basically since Civ 6 release. Every once in a while I get a comment on YouTube. Oh, why don't you just use... Uh, here. Why don't you just use what would it take? Because it doesn't friggin' work, that's why. <laughs> it doesn't work more often than not. It definitely doesn't work as intended. And that's why I do it manually. It just doesn't friggin' work. I guess I'll pay, it's not a big deal. That's like two turns of my income to get my spy back. All right, fine. Yeah, it's less than two turns. One build left. Okay. That's the technologist spy, right? So I don't want him to spy a little bit more. Doesn't really matter too much which city is going to be. This one's fine. Alright, let's just continue with the railroad. Fingers crossed for some oil. With this kind of terrain, I might not actually have oil. And I don't have any cost, so I won't get that either. Another eruption. Was that two turns in a row? Yes, it was. Okay, we have one source of oil. Nice. Right here. Did I settle on top of it? Uh, yes? No? Maybe? Oh no, it's under the aqueduct. That works. <laughs> the aqueduct with oil. Hmm. That might not be very healthy. I'm just saying, but all right. Hey, computers, that's one turn. Yeah, only one is kind of disappointing, but it's heck of a lot better than zero. So I'm okay with this. With that said, I definitely won't be using for oil power plants. And that's not gonna happen. Right. 
Right, so I'm thinking maybe theater square or entertainment complex. I'm at zero amenities in this one. And it has quite a few pretty bad tiles. So let's go with entertainment complex. Where are all my theater squares right now? Not that I have a lot of them. Okay, none in this area. With that said, I could use that entertainment complex for adjacency bonus. So this could be a theater square, potentially. I mean, it won't be amazing, but it could be a theater square. And then here, or... I don't think I'm willing to remove the stone, no. But this could also be a theater square, and this would be an entertainment complex. It's not ideal, but it's still plus three. So yeah, it's fine. First, entertainment complex for some amenities. Yeah, walls, in case we do end up fighting Portugal. I will at the very least drop a nuke on them. They deserve it, damn it for stealing all the coast. I totally wouldn't have done it otherwise. Trust me. I would definitely never nuke someone for no reason. Okay, I might actually remove that one uh, Nazca line, because sure, they improve neighboring tiles, but I can't work uh, the Nazca tile itself. So I think it's better to just keep that desert for actual use. Definitely better. What? Korea switched governments to autocracy. Okay. To uh, is he well, we got computers. Yeah, I don't know why some of the AIs are still using tier 1 governments. Like, it makes no sense. I don't know if that was the case previously, or this is something recent, but it's just weird. Portugal has Classical Republic, Georgia has Classical Republic, <coughs> Canada has Classical Republic, Korea has Autocracy, like what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. I have no idea. It's weird. Hey, what policy did I unlock? Well, resource management. I could replace drill manuals with resource management. Might be more worth it once I get aluminum, because I do not have that yet. So let's maybe wait for that. Nobody wants to buy my luxuries? Okay. Can I buy luxuries from someone? Nope. I'm already buying a few. Anyway, next up, probably steel. I don't have a whole lot of oil, but if I do go toward Portugal, I'm going to need some artillery at least. And I might build Eiffel Tower. Hey, we have Eiffel, so we should use at least one charge to build Eiffel Tower, right? It's the law. Unfortunately, I will not be able to boss this, because I have no way to get an ironclad. It's literally impossible. What are ships? <laughs> we don't know what those are. What is water? Surely ocean is just a conspiracy theory. It doesn't exist. We've never seen evidence of ocean existing, so... There's no such thing. And Beijing again. Well, at this rate, I will need another neighborhood in here. I could still get a plus four on this two food, one production tile. I guess it's worth it. Okay, what the heck, let's get yet another one. I can easily break 30 pop in Beijing, easily. Maybe even like 34, 35, but we'll get 30 plus easily, no problem. Okay, so we're really quick. 
might actually plant the wards here. And not a lot of food in there. Okay, farm. And that was a sewer, right? I don't have a whole lot of space for districts in this one. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of space for anything, really. Probably just spam campus research grants. Oh yeah, we need a trader, let's grab that then. Uh, actually, just buy the trader, it's not worth waiting four turns to get one. I can probably get it in one turn elsewhere. Like here. Yep. Nope, I don't even own a lake tile, there's nothing. There's no lake. Like, there's nothing, no lake. We got the rivers, that's it. But no lake. No lake, no sea, no nothing. The city I took from Portugal when it flipped is pretty close, but it doesn't have a single coastal tile, unfortunately. Oh yeah, how is this one doing? We should stop doing this now. We hit the cup. Let's grab a neighborhood. A plus four is not amazing, but it'll have to do. Or I can just keep 13 pop for now. I build the actual encampment, because I was planning to build the encampment. First flood barrier. It's funny, because I don't have any actual cost, but I can build a flood barrier. Okay, great wall. Yes, a very great wall. <laughs> indeed. That is a great wall indeed. Have you guys ever seen a great wall like this? Clearly the greatest of all the walls I've ever seen in my life. Truly a world wonder. Alright, carry on with the railroad, and now I need to repair all this, and then it will probably blow up again. The Great Hut, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty much, the Great Watchtower, that's basically what it is, the Great Watchtower. Nope, not selling you my oil. How's our era score? Oh, it's more than enough, no problem. To be fair, I don't have Taj Mahal, so at this stage it's usually not a big problem. Uh, Alright, I do need another builder and then probably just broadcast center. I could still build Mont Saint Michel in seven turns. I mean, it's a good wonder if you're going for reliquaries, culture victory. Maybe not necessarily in my situation. Yeah, no, definitely not in my situation. I don't even have a lot of faith, so no. Civics. Yes, yeah, so now we probably want globalization for e-commerce. So, Cold War, Rapid Deployment, etc. Do I have a foreign continent? Yes, I do. I do. A little bit of it. To the west. So I would need an aerodrome in one of these cities in the west. And that shouldn't take too long. 56, production. Okay, three turns to build an aerodrome. I think I'll grab one. Alright, let's grab one. Why not? For the boast, but it might also be useful otherwise. Twenty-six out of thirty-three. Okay, that will be enough for a little bit. Let's grab some amenities. Oh yeah, still need a lumber mill. And I still need a mine on this desert hill. Let's just grab another builder here. And probably a sewer after. 
uh, right here, that will be faster for the railroad. Shame I can't get these two volcanic tiles, but oh well. How's Portugal doing now? Okay, 59, 49. Yeah, they are still doing well in terms of like actual tech count. Uh, Albert Einstein, yes, I'll take him, definitely. Uh, let's check what the, our best trade route is right now. Uh, preferably not to Portugal. So, some of these. A good trade route from Sao Paulo, actually. I meant to do that one. Yep. Alright, let's pop Einstein. Right away. Combined arms. Alright. I guess that's fine. I could have done that one myself, but all right. 19 out of 18. Oh, this was supposed to be a campus. Let's get that done real quick. It won't be a particularly good one, but I still want more science. So might as well grab a campus. Yeah, I might pick up a housing policy next, because a lot of my cities are capped on housing now. We'll see. So how about an industrial zone? Well, let's just get this encampment, shall we? This was the plan. I'm just going to do that, and I need an encampment somewhere. I don't exactly have one. Another luxury. How's my army right now? What do we have? Okay, two bombard cores. I can upgrade some of these guys. I did get force modernization after all. So definitely the crossbow, man. But I have the money, I can afford it. Line infantry, 410. Yeah, that's fine. That's also fine. Oh yeah, and the field cannon can create a field cannon army down here. That works. This city is technically not connected to my territory, but I am allied with Anaska. Okay, we got steel, now we can upgrade the bombards. Let's just get that done. Here you go. Uh, I didn't necessarily need that era score, but all right. Combustion, one turn. Supply convoy might actually be useful. Oh, we are actually pressuring Funchal right here. Interesting, interesting. I should move some of my governors. Where's Victor right now? Right here. Okay, let's move Victor. A little bit closer. Which city has entertainment complex? Well, not this one, because I could also run bread and circuses for more loyalty pressure. But it is to be within nine tiles. One more spy. How are the city states? You know, Auckland is one of the best city-states, in my opinion, but I do not have a single coastal tile. Like, not a single one. <laughs> so it would do literally nothing for me, in this case. Like, straight up nothing. Pretty bad trade routes from the capital. 
I have much better ones. Yeah, preferably not to Portugal. And Natal has some decent ones too. Okay. And Sao Paulo. So that looks decent. I'm avoiding trade that with Portugal because I do think we'll be going to war at some point. I just want to maximize my chances <laughs> of kicking his ass. And maybe get the Nukes before we do that. We'll get the uranium pretty soon. Even more error scores and rapid deployment boost. So hold on, where is entertainment complex? Also, I don't need this food project anymore. I could just build entertainment complex right here, which is not a bad idea for like loyalty pressure purposes. And I could still use the amenities, so I might actually do it. I have not finished the factory. Yeah, I might actually do it, but let's get the factory first. Yeah, I will need something else, because otherwise this will take too long. Eiffel Tower. Okay, where do I want to build Eiffel Tower? It doesn't matter too much, uh, because it does affect everything. But I don't want the construction to take too long. This will be 480 production per charge. Yeah, Eiffel Tower is 1620. So I would like a higher production city to actually do it in. Higher than that one anyway. Let's do that trade route real quick. One hundred. Maybe here. Okay, I think this is a good candidate. Either on this float plane or on the planes. And the float plane will be a little bit better with a farm. And I can't get a forest here. So let's just get Eiffel Tower right here. The broadcast center can wait. And we'll pop Eiffel. At least once, I got what? Two charges left on him. So I could use both, I could use one, we'll see. <laughs> I can build a Padana in two turns. Not that I really need it, but that's actually pretty funny. Crystal Redentor in seven turns in my capital. Heck, maybe I'll build it on that hill to the west. That doesn't have anything. What the heck, I'm going to build it because I can. Not because I need it, but because I can build it in seven turns. That's a pretty good deal to me. Oh, we lost Nazca. Okay then. That's a bit rude. There's the spy again. Let's try to get a promotion. One thing I could do is send a spy here and try to drop the loyalty with a spy. I think we got one more spy coming up. Yes, one more spy coming up in four turns. So I'll send him here. Okay, both of these cities are losing loyalty now. Yeah, maybe we can flip more Portuguese cities. That would be nice. Before we actually go to war. That would be best. If I can make it work. We'll see. Right, a drone. I think I'll need a second one for the boost. And there's a boss that requires two drones. If I remember right. And it might be useful to have more than one anyway. Let's just grab one here. Yep, chop that. So two turns and we'll reveal uranium. Hopefully I got some somewhere. I don't really care where. Wait, how come can I not build... Oh, we don't have chemistry yet. Yeah, I thought I had it already, so I'm looking to build a mountain tunnel. 
I guess we'll get it after combined arms. I need one more line infantry as well. We can get one more line infantry. What's my second top production city? After Beijing, Chengdu. Okay. What is it doing? Oh, it's building Eiffel Tower, right. Okay, uh, that one is getting a spy. A campus can wait. Okay, the campus can wait a little bit. I need one more line infantry for the boost. And for an army right here. So we'll get that done. Okay. Let's hope we have at least one source of uranium here. If not, I might have to liberate it from Portugal. But the idea was to use it to nuke them with it. Hey, I'm actually just passing by. I'm not even doing that, I'm just standing doing nothing. It's my territory, damn it. I can be in my territory. Yeah, I'll need to do something to make this go faster. I don't have a spine here. Oh, yeah, right. So let's gain some sources first, and then we can try to reduce enemy loyalty. It should work. But first, we'll get sources. It would be nice if I could flip this city. That would actually be great. That would make it way easier to fight him. It would also split his territory in half-ish. So that stone is out of range to work, I might as well harvest it. Since none of my cities can work it, it's out of range. Best to just harvest it and get the production. I still need a mine on this hill, let's just go and get it done. Doesn't matter who's going to do it. I'll probably just use both the charges from Eiffel here. Eh, maybe. There aren't that many wonders I would still need. So, best to just actually use him for something. Instead of just having him sit around for the rest of the game doing nothing. I would be so far ahead right now if it wasn't for Portugal in this game. He really ran away. Fast. The only other AI who can sort of compete with me is Korea, which is kind of understandable, and they are still behind me. Okay. Oh, barbarians, really? Uh, all right. Uh, that's kind of weird, but okay. That might be some foreign spies uh, spawning barbarians. I'm not sure what's happening there. We'll use him to get some experience for our artillery. There you go. Works for me. Not like they have anything better to do. Uh, advanced flight. Uh, no, replaceable parts. We'll be getting that boost. I think this will only save me one turn, but better than nothing. And I could get two biplanes for another boost. Thing is, I have very little oil. That might be slightly problematic. Yeah, that might be a little bit problematic, actually. Okay, two turns to finish Eiffel Tower. This will also help uh, neighborhood districts, because it improves appeal, and the neighborhoods get more housing with more appeal. Oh yeah, uranium. Do we not have uranium? Come on, man. Eight results. Okay, Canada has some. Uh, Zanzibar has two sources of uranium. Interesting. Okay, okay. 
Not only I don't have any, there isn't any even remotely close to my border. That's unfortunate. This is just about the closest one to my border, but I'm allied with Korea. I'll have to get it from the city-state. So, from Zanzibar. That seems to be my best option, but I don't think they will improve it right away. Still, that's the best option I see. There you go. Yeah, I'll have to wait, because they won't have it right away. Still, I don't really see a better option. That will have to be it. Okay. Unfortunate. I might have to actually fight a conventional war. I'm allied with Brazil. I don't want to go after Brazil. I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but it's a, a level 2 alliance, not a level 1, which means there's a non-zero chance I would get an emergency against me. I'd rather just go after Portugal. I might just have to prepare a little bit better. His cities are super close to mine, so... If I can flip this... Okay, 16 turns now. I can probably flip this. Let's just focus on trying to flip this right now. It's only 16 turns away and I have a spy inside. If he can drop loyalty by 25, this will flip. So this is going to be my focus right now. Flip it and then take it. That's the plan. And no, I can't improve it myself, no. Okay, there you go. So let's harvest this. That will finish the bank. Oh yeah, what are uh, the requirements for the stadium? A flat land adjacent to entertainment complex with a stadium. Yeah, I might be able to do that. I can maybe speed this up a little bit by getting entertainment complex and then running bread and circuses. So that's also kind of the plan. Uh, let's just move the units down here right away. Yeah, I don't think uh, Portugal has uranium. At least he doesn't have it anywhere where I can see. If he doesn't have any at all, that's a good thing because he won't be able to get nukes either. No, he doesn't have any. So that means he can't get nukes either. He can't nuke me. He can't get John dead robots. So that's a good thing. Alright, get that mine on the desert hill already. Right, I'm moving everything this way. All of you guys. One more turn in replaceable parts. The line infantry will be done on the next turn, so we'll get replaceable parts and infantry on the next turn. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of oil. Wait, does Portugal have oil? Because I only have one single source. I wouldn't mind taking more. Well, there's one up here. But these cities aren't really worth attacking, other than for the oil. There's a source here, but that's outside of range. The border will have to expand on its own. There might be some like over here, but that seems fairly unlikely. I'm not holding my breath. Any more railroads needed? They are actually a bit more obvious on this view. Doesn't look like Chengdu is connected. 
as far as I can tell. Move out of the way. I really dislike when AI blocks your own tiles with their stupid civilian units. I'm pretty sure we can get this. Now, he might move a governor here, but if he does, I can try to kick him out. Alright, we got Eiffel Tower, we got replaceable parts. That's a counter spy. And the capitalism boost. Now we can get an army here. Where was that other guy? Right here. There you go. I might have to pass on infantry because, again, I have very limited amount of oil. I think I'd rather get a third artillery army with my third oil. That will probably have to be it. So let's set up in the bombardment range right away. So, like this. I will start attacking it as soon as it flips. Hopefully faster than 14 turns. That is a pretty nice city. Doesn't have that much pop, but it has some nice stuff around it. There's a Ruhr Valley here. Although that belongs to the other city. And that's a lot of mountain tunnels. <laughs> that's a pretty nice campus. Again, it belongs to another city. All right, whatever. If I don't take this, we could probably flip another city or two. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Now, let's grab an entertainment complex here so that I can run, I can run bread and circuses. Uh, this city still needs an aqueduct, okay. Right, let's get that done really quick to improve the industrial zone. There's the new spy. So he needs to go to a different city now. Could try this one, Guarda. It only has five pop. I might be able to flip it. It was already losing loyalty for a little bit, but he moved Reina in there. I can try to kick out Reina. That would be helpful. Right, so let's maybe get that theater square real quick. Might as well. And up here... Oh yeah, we just finished the encampment. That's my only encampment, right? Or second one, rather. Yeah, it's my second one. Next up, chemistry. Uh, unlock mountain tunnels and obviously research lab. And a tick row, which doesn't require any strategic resources. Now, I don't know if I want to, do, to buy planes for advanced flight boost. It's probably not worth it, because it would only save me a single turn, and I just don't have the oil. I need to save oil for artillery, so no, I'll pass on that. Here, finally got that mine. So, next railroad will be to Chengdu. How's his tech count now? Okay, 60, I'm at 53. He would have been long dead if he wasn't uh, this far ahead for most of this game. Industrial era is almost done. And we will get another Golden Age. Well, I'm ready. Just waiting now. Uh, 82 on the vampires. Yeah, that's pretty decent. What's the line infantry army at? Uh, right, that's 82. I might get one infantry army just for the purpose of improving my vampires. So I could do that. Because the vampires are the same as your strongest melee unit. So that would be worth doing, I guess. Can I just buy oil from someone? Oh yeah, I can sell luxuries. Let's do that real quick. Maybe buy luxuries as well. 
I should be able to buy oil from someone. No, apparently not. Okay, never mind then. So much for that idea. Slightly disappointing. And that's the hangar. I'll just pop another campus. So next to the industrial zone will be fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to use one infantry army at least. We can grab our last governor, but let's maybe wait one more turn uh, to get that era score for the next era. Not that era score will be a problem, but I certainly don't need era score on this turn anymore. As you can clearly see. And there it is, Modern Era. Chemist. Lasers boost. And we got chemistry. Okay. Uh, also, right, aluminum is here. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. Uh, I revealed aluminum after I already popped at the National Park, I remember. Was it anywhere else? Hold on. Because I can't get this one anymore. Again, I revealed that after I got the National Park. Yeah, we got one here. Yeah, we have enough, okay. I'm getting six per turn, that will be enough. So, I guess I should get two arms instead of a bit of steam. That probably makes sense. A bit of steam is nice. But if I'm going to declare war on Portugal, I should get two arms. That's the thing, though. I might not actually declare war on him for a while. Do I have any other CB? Oh yeah, we can use War of Territorial Expansion. It must have two cities within ten tiles of two opponent cities, right. So that's obviously not as good as Golden Age War. But I think I might stick with Hard Bit of Steam. Hard Bit of Steam is nice. And I do have quite a few campuses with pretty damn good adjacency bonus. Yeah, no, I'm taking Hard Bit of Steam. Great Engineer. Uh, yeah, I'll pass on that one, actually. So, 11 turns. Armory next. Well, you guys just chill and wait. What does he have here? A T crew, artillery. I don't see like modern armor and stuff like that. So hopefully he doesn't have anything like that. Right, extra drone, just in case. Don't think I want to switch any policies. Let's get Reina for our last governor. And I can use her for some loyalty pressure here. I want to try pressuring this city. It's a little bit further away, though. It will be much easier once we take Fonchal, or if we take it. Because I don't think I'll pressure other cities otherwise. But for now, Reyna can chill in Handan. Might as well. Oh yeah, and we need to renew the alliances. I don't plan going to war with other people, just Portugal right now. Hmm. 
Minus 50% production cost of military units. Yes, we can try to get that. I'll vote for myself for diplomatic victory. Let's say seven votes. That'll do. Okay. Thus, the There's Chris or Redentor. Not that I needed it, but it was seven turns. There, we got the 50% production discount. Georgia got the diplomatic victory points. Okay. How's that going? Okay, Canada has 12. I need to watch Canada here, especially since he might build the Statue of Liberty and I cannot. Because I literally do not have a single coastal tile I could build it on. I, I just can't. So if he builds it, yeah, that might be a problem. I need to hurry up and win this. Like, quickly. If I wait too long, Canada might actually get diplomatic victory, if they try hard enough. I could see it happening. Right, now I need a research lab in Beijing, obviously. I will not be getting two biplanes, so let's just get advanced flight right away. A Tesla. Yes, I'll take it. Right, Beijing will need a spaceport. I suppose I'll have to remove something here. Yep. Well, it is what it is. What was the second city again? Uh, Chengdu, but it's nowhere close. Not even remotely. I will get it in both. But Beijing definitely needs a spaceport. Okay. How many more turns? Oh, we have now uh, loyalty is going up. So that's not so good. He does have mechanized infantry here. If only I had more oil, it would be an easier decision. It's a little bit unlucky that I didn't really get oil. It was a little bit unlucky. Because, I mean, all these units require oil. And I only have three, and I can't buy it from anyone. The best unit I can get without oil is basically modern AT. So, composites. I would have to do that. Remember in Civilization 5 when AIs spammed mobile sums because they didn't require any resources? And it was actually a pretty damn good melee unit? Like, it wasn't a stupid decision, it was actually a good thing to do. <laughs> because it was a pretty good melee unit, it just looked a little bit dumb. And it made it pretty hard to actually utilize your air units at times. So here, that's a T crew. Probably the reason Portugal has quite a few. All right, error score. Mind the maneuvers. All right, let's grab a spaceport in Chengdu. Up here is fine, and we'll get one in Beijing as well. That's the plan. As for civics, yes, space race, and then globalization and social media, that's the plan. And then we'll unlock our tier for government. Okay, food market here would be pretty useful, but I still want that entertainment complex. Let's do that. Okay, this is fine. And then we run bread and circuses. See if that helps. Oh, the spy failed? Or did he? Yep, failed. And he was captured, though. <sighs> okay, that's unlucky. That's really unlucky. 
Can we get him back? Yep. But that's actually kind of unlucky. That's second time now. Or third? Yeah, I'm not sure what they did, but now they are gaining loyalty, unfortunately. They clearly did something. Uh, that's a brand new spy. Where can we go now? I could try Ponta Delgada. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough one. Uh, this city has a lot going on. I could try to uh, spawn uh, some barbarians here, just to distract them ready before I declare war. That could work. Oh, also, alliances. Let's get the alliances. Research, culture, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. Economic. Religious. And the military. Maybe I can get a rush out to... Okay, no, never mind. Okay, I can probably get some others to declare war with me, but most of them will not be very relevant. Basically, Russia, maybe Canada, but Canada is a special case. And Georgia. That's it. Nobody else is really close enough to Portugal to do anything. I can't. I don't have the oil, and I can't buy oil from anyone. Don't really need more spies. Okay, spaceport. I guess I'll have to drop one of the lumber mills. Well, it is what it is. All right, well, I have to. I have to build it somewhere. How's food in here? Okay, not great, actually. Could probably use more. That'll do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can actually go to war with him. I have no uranium. I have no oil. Almost no oil. I, I can't actually do this. I actually can't do this. I lose if I do this. Because he has mechanized infantry against my line infantry. I, I can't afford infantry because I don't have the resources. Because if I get too many, I will not be able to repair them. That's the problem. Okay, this guy is the technologist. It's pretty clear I will not be able to flip this. Yeah, plus 7.2. I will not be able to flip this. Might be best to just try stealing a boost. I have 90%. Okay, let's just try to steal a boost. There are quite a few now that you can only get through a spy or a great person. Uh, that's a really loud rock band.
Jets are fast. Okay, Russia is doing pretty well in terms of culture, but I don't think they will be able to finish that. This is a pretty unlucky game, just in general. The fact I wasn't able to get like a single coastal city, that was bad. Like Portugal completely blocked off all of it. How's the tech count now? Uh, okay, 56, 62. Looking better. Military Academy. Can still get a campus down here. I could get a plus five, but that would involve removing the improvement. Maybe not a great idea. I might just get some AT crew units. All right, let's get a few. In some cities that don't have anything better to do. Am I still running any projects anywhere? Uh, campus research grants, that's fine. But no Yongo projects anymore, okay. Let's keep it that way. I've done enough of those. Kind of weird he doesn't have armies, but... Yeah, the problem here is also that encampment. Like, sure, I could stay outside of his range, sort of, but it will make things more annoying. Yeah, not really convinced it's a good idea. Probably best to just focus on winning. I should get uranium from Zanzibar eventually. It's just that it will take some time. It's a shame it doesn't work like it did in C5, but oh well. All right, satellites. So next stop. Well, I do have more aluminum, so I could get some jet fighters. That might not be a terrible idea, because these things are pretty good. It's actually not a bad idea. Alright, let's go with that. I got six aluminum per turn and I'm not currently using it. I can get a little bit more uh, through whatever it's called. Resource management, is it? It's not going to be a huge amount, but it's something. So I could do that. I would lo lose a little bit of coal though, but I guess I don't care as much about coal anymore. And let's actually get capitalism real quick here. So that's the other spy. Okay, let's maybe drop loyalty here. One thing I could also do is use the dedication to get the John Death robot along with his own uranium. So that would also help. That would give me an advantage assuming Portugal has no uranium. He doesn't seem to have any. But that's like not anywhere close just yet. We just entered the modern era. So it's not anywhere close. Might be a little bit too late by the time I get the option to actually pick up that John Death robot.
Okay, that's the research lab. Now I could spam some units here. Again, probably mostly a tickle because that doesn't require oil. Let's get a bunch at least. These are good as mid shields. They can protect my artillery and such. Oh, this city does not have a campus. Okay, fair enough. Right, I don't want to be in range of that encampment necessarily. How about the rocket artillery? Yeah, I could get that pretty quickly. And it blew up again. I knew it. That's slightly annoying, but okay. I think I might just buy a builder here. <laughs> it's not like I can't afford it. So let's switch drill manuals to resource management. Like so. I'm keeping everything else, I think. Yep. And back to Space Race. I can just boss that, but I'll still need one or two more turns of research anyway. Great works of writing. Right, that's also a research lab. Uh, let's grab Archaeological Museum really quick. And keep running campus research grants in this one. Almost 800 science per turn now. A bird came down. A solar farm? I don't remember if I built that. I think I built one somewhere. No, apparently not. Okay. Well, there it is. Got it. Almost got that entertainment complex, and then I can uh, do bread and circuses. It probably won't make a big difference. Oh, that was a big tourism pop right there. Probably from Russia. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't like that. He's like doing dangerously well. I don't like that. And he's nowhere close to me, so the best thing I can do is just win quickly. Which, to be fair, shouldn't be a problem. I'm just saying I should focus mostly on winning. Okay, I don't necessarily need production bonus towards civilian units right now all that much. I think I'd rather focus on other things. Let's get a few more units again. So, just more AT crows. I need one more field cannon, actually. Apparently. Okay, upgrade the machine gun. So next stop, I want both guidance systems for rocket artillery and the lasers. So let's get the guidance systems really quick and then we'll get lasers. And I guess then we can work towards nanotechnology. And that seems reasonable. How are city states doing? I got eight envoys. We lost Geneva. Oh yeah, Geneva is actually pretty useful for extra science here. Right, and now I can get mechanized infantry, so let's do that. I do want at least one, again, because it will improve my vampires. Italy sucks not having more oil than I actually have, but oh well. 
At least I have some. Having zero would have sucked. And this guy has slightly more experience. Okay, well, again, I'll get one because I need it for the vampires. So now, uh, I think I need to wait for it to kick in. Yeah, there it is. Now they have 102. That's like a 20 point improvement. I am getting one extra oil uh, from resource management now, so I can still get one artillery army, or rocket artillery army rather. That will give me three total. That should be a decent number. Yeah, probably best to grab it right here. What other city had an encampment again? Because I have one here, but where was my... Oh yeah, right here. Which city was this? 49 production. 52. How much to just buy artillery? Probably not cheap, but I have a lot of gold. Where the heck is it? Here. Almost 4,000. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, I might just do that. However, if I'm going to do that, I can do it like right before I declare war. I don't have to do it now. Success is. Oh, should have switched from space race to something else. And not that I can really. Mostly all their policies. Because that's about to get busted. Okay, I actually switched it uh, before that culture kicked in. Nice. You can do it if you click fast enough. The spaceport will finish in three turns, so that will give me the boost. Okay, another research lab. A stadium for some amenities. Uh, more AT crew. Just merge these guys. I think I got all the railroads I needed now. I can maybe extend it like east towards Handan or something like that. I can have a railroad basically leading all the way to the Portuguese border. That would speed up my troop movements a little bit. So uh, Natal could get a T-Crew army or something like that. Or I can queue up an uh, artillery army. Uh, this city has 92 production, actually. So, five turns to get artillery army. Five turns is good, let's do that. Five turns is good. I can maybe save one turn by chopping the rainforest as well. Uh, that will be a T-Crew army. So, the spy. First, gain sources. Okay, this all looks a bit confusing because of all these mountain tunnels. Why did they spam so many mountain tunnels? That's a little bit silly. Hey Miso, good evening. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you were heading. The children okay. of the nuclear age, I think, were weakened in their... So next stop, uh, I need to wait for space race. Let's wait for space race then. Oh yeah, I can get the trimming bonus now. I forgot about that. There it is, done. Might as well get cultural heritage now. It's free extra envoys, which might come in handy. Great artist. Uh, do I have the space for that? Uh, I'll have to build an art museum. Okay. We can do that somewhere, I think. Well, I can build theater square here. I can pop him once, but then I'll need an extra art museum. It's okay, we'll get one.
Here you go. He still got a crossbow man, apparently. I missed him earlier. So I guess I don't need that machine gun, but it's almost finished. Might as well finish it. More units is better. Okay, what's next here? More housing would be useful. A plus six. Uh, this city doesn't have a whole lot of food, so might not really be worth building a neighborhood anymore. No, I don't think it is. I could get a theater square real quick. Okay, let's get a theater square on the ward style and then an art museum. Because I have an artist and not enough art museums. Okay, now we also have a rocket artillery. So seven turns to get rocket artillery army. That will give me three uh, rocket artillery armies. I still need two more to actually create armies down here. So we'll do that. And I guess then I can consider declaring war. That will give me a much better chance to actually kick his ass. So that's the plan. How's the tech count now? Okay, I'm catching up. I almost caught up, more or less. What is he actually doing? Okay, he is working on science. He did moon landing. Korea is also working on it, unsurprisingly. There it is, we stole a tech boost. A nuclear fission, that's a useful one. That is literally what I was researching. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. Okay, this is great. This guy is already a technologist. We can also pick up these guys. That will be very useful indeed. All right, airport. Actually, no, hold on, hold on. I need artillery, or rather rocket artillery. Just a regular one to merge with our existing units. And I guess I could buy one. Okay, what the heck, let's just buy one here because I can. More AT crew. So we're... And even more AT crew. I might need an extra military engineer. I might not, but it's only two turns, so let's grab one just to have him available. Now I can move away a little bit with the rocket artillery and to not be as close and make some space for melee units. So let's do that. And that's mechanized infantry. Okay, yeah, that's good. This should be much easier now. And again, he doesn't have uranium, so there's no risk that he's going to nuke me. Yep, now I have to wait for another art museum. All right, I guess we'll wait then. Five turns to get third rocket artillery army. This should be enough units, hopefully. It's probably overkill, to be honest. Yeah, and my vampires are much stronger now as well. Leave There's the space race boost. To go to the moon. So now uh, we can finish cultural heritage, but then we'll get globalization, social media and optimization imperative for tier 4 government. Uh, Beijing is done with the spaceport, now we can work on, you know, space stuff. Do I have... no, I don't. Okay, we'll want a space initiative. Not that it will do... well, no, it will. But I need a governor title. So I need to wait for that. Okay, Bread and Circuses is done. I don't think it will make a difference, but I tried. And Manhattan Project. 
Now, I do not have uranium, but I should get it eventually from Zanzibar. Which city can build that? 14 turns is a little bit slow. And this would effectively be 14 turns. 9 turns. That's much better. Let's do that. 9 turns is good. Uh, yeah, research lab. Clearly. This is also a nice production city. That's my best production city in the West. Not that I need anything in particular here. These are both really good. 92 and 93. Hey, where are you going with that archaeologist? Piss off. I think I need one more archaeologist somewhere. Yeah, right here, actually. In the city where I just started Manhattan Project. Uh, let's shift these things around a little. Do I still have antiquity sites left, or did AI steal them? Okay, I still have some. They did steal some of them. Yeah, they did. But I still have some. Uh, let's get the Manhattan Project back here then. That's 10 turns. That's still fast enough. So I want to get a lot of extra rocket artillery and then we can declare war. There's a railroad here, so it can catch up pretty quickly. And I need extra rocket artillery to create armies anyway. So I want to get that done. Here you go. That's one, and we'll need one more. It's already coming. Yep. So we'll be ready in about five turns or so. And I can just use War of Territorial Expansion. He denounced me, so I can just declare war as soon as I'm ready to do that. And we can upgrade our AT crew as well. And maybe get a jet fighter or two. Yeah, a jet fighter would definitely help. I have the aluminum for it, so we'll get a jet fighter once we get the lasers. Uh, that's my technologist spy. I should probably relocate him to a different city, because the idea is to capture this city. <laughs> we can go to Porto or something like that. Okay, let's go to Porto. Uh, one thing I might want to do is have some units for defense in the north, in case he tries to attack me, but that's also what jet fighters would be useful for. I can relocate the jet fighters quickly. I do have uh, aerodromes as well, so I could use those for rapid deployment. Where are my aerodromes again? So one over here. Uh, that's not mine. There's one here. No, that's not mine either. There's one in the middle. Might be useful to build one up here near Caspi. And there's one down here. That's mine. So if I build an aerodrome up here, I could airlift units for defense if needed. Maybe after the industrial zone. Okay, so jet fighters. I need a city with higher production. And they are all mostly busy at the moment. Yep. I guess I'll wait for rocket artillery to finish. Then we can start a jet fighter. Or, well, I can finish the spaceport later. This spaceport will only be useful once we get to the point of finishing uh, the spaceship stuff. You know, to the, do the laser station stuff. But until then, I do not need a second spaceport. Uh, I might just buy that research lab as well. So let's get 
uh, some... Oh, yeah, right. I can't get a jet fighter here because I don't have a narrow drum here. Well, I could build one. There's a pretty crappy tile right here. So I might just grab one over there. I can still grow this city. Okay, let's actually get an aerodrome here. And then I can get a jet fighter. That's the plan. And while we wait for that, we can get one in Viso. That's six turns. That's reasonable. Because I want more than one. Like at least two or three. And do I ever build anti air units in Civ 6? No, I don't. <laughs> because AI rarely uses air units, and if they do, you can handle that with fighters. Which I did like once or twice in the past. They were definitely needed in Civ 5, but in Civ 6, not so much. In Civ 5, if you didn't get mobile sums, like you could easily get wrecked. You could get wrecked hard. That definitely happened to me a few times. Right, so let's try to reduce loyalty down here. Are we there yet? Counter spy. I can build one more wonder. I don't think I have the time for that right now. But I need a theater square. Because I need one more art museum. So theater square it is then. Handan can also get an art museum. And let's extend this railroad uh, towards the border. So through here. Just to speed up my unit movements. Basically. A more AT crew. Yeah, let's pop another one. I don't see why not. Does the technologist? I don't even have to gain sources. I could try to disrupt rocketry, but I kind of want to steal another boost or two. Let's do that. I'm not too concerned about the disrupting their space stuff. I will disrupt it enough when I declare war on them. That should be a sufficient disruption. Does he really not have any land-based oil? Let me double check. He has some on the coast. Okay, no, he has... No, that's an oil uh, power plant, not actual oil. He only has oil, like, over here. Unless there's some inside this fog of war. But the only oil he has is up here to the north and off the coast. But that's it. On the other hand, that's probably a good thing, because it means he won't be able to use that oil for a lot of units. I see mechanized infantry, I see nuclear submarine, but yeah, not a whole lot, really. Uh, there's another rocket artillery, so merge these. There. And we got a third rocket artillery army coming on the next turn. So we're almost ready to declare war. Uh, let's grab the airport real quick. Actually, no, hold on. Let's maybe get another jet fighter first. I want that out a little bit faster. It's only three turns. So I definitely want that out. Uh, 
another AT crew. I could get Spec Ops, but AT crew is stronger, so AT crew. You know what time is? And uh, the XCOM squad units. Those were fun. Okay, what now? Probably just spam campus research grants. Yeah, let's just spam campus research grants. There, done. Okay, so how's our oil balance now? Yeah, now we will have a minus four and plus four. So that will have to be it, because I don't want to be unable to repair my units. Yeah, Portugal has been doing really well this game. Now I'm well ahead of them, but... They are still slightly ahead in terms of tech count. They were really far ahead for most of the game. There may be no forgiveness. Okay, we got the satellite. This is a Pangea map, by the way. Like, this is a Pangea map. It is technically Pangea, I mean, it's true, it is Pangea. But a pretty weird looking Pangea to me, like what the heck is this supposed to be? And the Russia had this entire part of the continent all to themselves. Like they had all of this shit over here all to themselves. Not sure how I feel about that. Moon landing next. Still waiting for that art museum. But it was down here? No, it wasn't. Right, that was AT crew spam. Uh, let's get a few more still. Okay, there's the rocket artillery army, good. Send it east right away. That will be enough for now. Again, I don't have the oil. We can still build the Bolshoi Theater. That gives me two randomly chosen Civics for free. Heck yeah, I'll do that. I might want to research some of the super cheap ones if I'm going to do that though. Because it'll be a waste otherwise. On the other hand, I kind of want to get my tier 4 government ASAP. So, eh. And technically somebody might beat me to it, it's possible. I don't even have naval tradition yet. I mean, to be fair, we don't have any naval traditions because we don't have a navy. We don't know what that means. We don't even have a lake, never mind a sea or an ocean. Okay, that should be enough railroads here. Uh, one more. Towards the airport. Yep. Okay, now he does have modern armor here, but I don't think that's really going to help him that much. A rocket artillery will go into the city. Okay. This should go pretty quickly. I hope. That's the idea. I suppose we'll find out. I will get a modern AT in two turns. And I have a lot of ATs, so it might be worth just waiting two more turns for that. Yeah, I will see the ocean, but Portugal won't like it. Sounds about right. Has both. Yeah, so let's just finish composites.
And there's an easy city state here. Sure, I'll take that. Apparently we're the first. Oh, it's really out of the way. Oh, I still have this warrior on auto explore. <laughs> he found it. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. That's pretty funny. He made himself useful. He's like, notice me, senpai. <laughs> I found a city-state. I'm useful. I'm running out of space to position all my unis here. All right, let's get these engineers out of here. Yeah, I can build railroad leading into the encampment, and that is also useful. And that's a brand new spy. Well, I could try to drop loyalty here, I guess. Sure, let's try to do that. Where was that third rocket artillery? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got the jet fighter, we got composites. So now I can upgrade all my AT crows. Oh, I thought this was planes, not a hill. Uh, 555, okay. I thought I had more. And that's just a solo guy. Okay, I thought I had more than this, <laughs> but all right, all right. Where's that uh, jet fighter? Here. Okay, rebase. I'll keep it inside the city. And there's the rocket artillery, so I can fire with it on this turn. I think now we can declare war. Not much point waiting any longer, right? So I can use War of Territorial Expansion. What is the relation with Canada? Yeah, I can't do much with Canada. What are the relations in general? Uh, okay, Poland denounced them. Korea and Georgia denounced them. They are actually kind of, sort of, neighbors almost. They are neighbors with Georgia. So I can probably get the Georgia to declare war with me. I would assume so. Yeah, I can. Wait, ideological war? Was that better? Oh yeah, that was actually better. Yep, yep. Okay, that is a little bit better uh, than territorial expansion. Because it's half the cost instead of 25% reduction. So we'll do ideological war. Let's do it. Will they pay me extra? Shame they don't have oil. I mean, I don't really care about like 100 gold, to be honest, but since they're giving me gold, I'll take it. I'll take your free gold. Okay, 100. Let's go. Let's see if I can get Russia to also declare war. That would be good. And uh, no. Okay, never mind. Uh, Poland probably will join. And not that Poland is anywhere close. But might as well get them to join. Oh, they want more money. How much do you want? Okay, that's way too much. I'm not paying you that much. Forget about it. 
Korea. That's way too much money. I'm not paying you that much. Yeah, no, that's not worth it. They aren't even neighbors, so it's unlikely they would actually do anything. So no thanks. Wait, how do I not have two airports? I guess I didn't finish one. Okay then. Yeah, here. Six turns to get the airport. Fine. And now, how do we do this here? I need to think about it. I already moved the jet fighter, so that has to wait until the next turn. Uh, let's get these engineers out of here really quick. So he has two modern armors, but they are just like single units. Uh, he does have rocket artillery. Okay. I can kill that AT crow. Might be worth doing. Or I can focus on the city. That's pretty good damage. Let's focus on the city. Need to move my vampire. Okay, I will have something in range of this encampment. I don't think I can avoid it. So we'll just move like this. Move in with the rocket artillery. And then it can take a shot on the next turn. It's close enough. Also got the machine gun. Yeah, I don't want the machine gun to be the bombardment range because that's more squishy. Uh, let's stay away from this stuff in the south. I'll keep the vampires in the front because vampires don't actually die. This is really good damage. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, let's attack. That is really damn good damage. I can actually kill him. There it is. And this actually gives me error score because vampire counts as like non-core, non-army. So if I kill a core or an army with a vampire, I get error score. Because, you know, they weren't already good enough. <laughs> a pillage, 400, 23 gold? Yeah, sure. Why not? I can always just repair it with a builder. Uh, I should have like a builder or two standing by actually for repair purposes. We can key one up after. Alright, environmentalism. Well, I need at least one more turn in globalization anyway. So let's do that. Uh, quick deals. Here you go. Your deals. There's a builder. I could have an aerodrome up here, but I don't think that would really be very useful. It's unlikely I would actually use it. Any sleeping units I can use? Well, I do have that machine gun, but again, that's a bit risky. I might actually keep the machine gun somewhere in the back for defense. Yeah, like somewhere over here. In case he sends some units towards my other cities. And this guy. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, he will attack my vampires, which is good. That's what I want. We can kill that rocket artillery now. 
Let's use the jet fighter first. Nice. Insta kill with the jet fighter. That's what I like to see. And we got a promotion on rocket artillery now. Let's just use that right away. And attack with the other two. I'll focus on the city with the artillery. I want to take that city ASAP. It shouldn't take longer than like three turns max. It's going down pretty quickly. So it won't take long. Okay, if I kill this AT crow with my vampire, the vampire will probably get killed by like city bombardment and stuff. But he won't be dead, so it's fine. He'll just need to stay in the back and heal up. Oh yeah, and I do have war department. I actually forgot about the war department. So we will heal for 20 every time we kill a unit. So I think I healed for more than I took the damage. That's even better. Alright, you guys just chill. Okay, it's safe to move one more tile east here. Okay. Uh, yeah, upgrade the AT crew. You guys can just chill somewhere. You're done with the railroads. Anything else? Oh, yep, he's sending his tanks. That's fine. I can use that machine gun for something. That'll do. He might perish my commercial hub. I guess I'll just repair it if he does that. Can I take a shot? Yes, I can take a shot with a machine gun. Here. That'll kill one. Good. We can get one more envoy in Zanzibar. Sure, let's do that. Uh, that's the theater square, right? I am building an airport. Uh, yeah, let's switch to something else. How many turns for that airport? Where was I building it? Oh yeah, right here, five. Okay, five is fine, I guess. Uh, this is the city with an aerodrome, so let's get another jet fighter. I have the aluminum. So yeah, I'm getting nine per turn. I can afford like three or four jet fighters easily. And no, jet fighter needs aluminum. Oh, you were referring to rocket art. Yeah, I can't get more rocket artillery. I'm already utilizing all my oil for that. I'm at plus four, minus four, so I can't get more than this. And now rocket artillery uh, needs oil, unfortunately. I wish it didn't, but you're thinking about the Civ 5. <laughs> Alright, another air attack. 64 damage, not bad. I need one more antiquity site. Yeah, I think they stole them. There's one over here. But they stole quite a few of my antiquity sites. That's a little bit rude. We can use our encampment bombardment. He does have air units. Okay, he has his own jet fighters too. So, okay. I might want to keep one on like intercept and such. How much to buy a jet fighter? Hold on. I might just buy one. Okay, what the heck? Let's just buy another one. Because, you know, why not? I can afford it, damn it. Maybe I should get a mobile sum. <laughs> yeah, okay. Instead of the AT crew, I can get a mobile sum or two. With that said, he doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot with his jet fighters. So, see, even when the AI builds them, he doesn't seem to be actually doing much with them. Okay, he's moving on Caspi, but that shouldn't really be a big deal. 
I can send something uh, to defend it, like this machine gun army. All right. So, back to the siege. Yeah, I might just pillage this. It's gold, I can repair it with my own builder. Okay, let's grab a mobile sum or something. Why not? I will actually build a mobile sum. I don't think I'll need it, but we can build one anyway. Alright, one vampire uh, lost his health, he'll just chill back there. The others are still fine. Does their job here absorb the damage? That's what I wanted them to do. Good damage. Can I take it now? Uh, not quite, no. On the next turn, though. We will take it on the next turn. Uh, how many jet fighters is that now? I think three. Okay, two in here and one inside the city. So I could deploy one, like, a bit to the north. See if he actually does anything with his own jet fighters. Like, I don't think he will, but let's see if he takes the bait. We can do this. Let's see if he takes the bait. And the other one, I can deploy the other one too. There's no unit outside of the city that I can hit at the moment. I could uh, move it up here to help Caspi. Okay, why not? Let's move it up here to help Caspi. Now, there's not much point in doing robotics because I don't have uranium. I guess we'll just get advanced power cells. Yep, to find uh, the text needed for science victory. Speaking of which, four turns to get the moon landing, all right? I don't need one more governor title. I think it will have to be near future governance. Well, no, it will be globalization once we finish the airport. It's four turns. Yep. Uh, that's the second uh, spaceport here. I can get an archaeologist, but I don't think there are enough antiquity sites I can get anymore. I still have one archaeologist out. Yeah, no, there aren't enough. So, not much point getting one anymore. We'll get a hangar and an airport. So, still got one more jet fighter here. I guess I'll just chill with this one. Here, we can deploy it. Back up a little. Okay, looks good. Actual interesting war. I'm still going to win, but hey, at least he's trying to put up a fight. This is what I miss from Civ 5, you know? In Civ 5, the mid-game, late-game wars were way more interesting. Because AI was more competent, at least in terms of military. I'm not saying it was that good, but it was way more competent in terms of keep keeping up with their military. And actually maintaining a good, relevant military. Because, sure, Portugal has a bunch of units, but it's really not that many. And I'm not even sure what they are doing with them. Not a whole lot. They are all over the place. So, in that sense, C5 really was more competent. As weird as that sounds, it just was. Okay, I think I'll just pop an aerodrome up here, because why not? 
Yeah, might as well. The art museum now. I need it for my great artist. He's been sitting there waiting for an art museum. Oh, I'm at zero coal. Yeah, I was wondering why I can't build a railroad anymore. That's because I used up all my coal. Well then, I suppose we'll buy some. Will he trade? Uh, not like this, apparently. Not the best deal I've ever seen in my life. But okay. I guess I could go for that. Okay, fine. So... I think now we can take the city, easily. Yep, oh yeah, easily, no problem. One more shot. Might not be needed, but just to be sure. And I'll use the Wounded Vampire. There, done. Got it. Okay, so let's move... Reyna, probably. Victor will stay where he is. Although I do not have a garrison commander on Victor. I will get it eventually, but I don't have it yet, so let's move Victor, because he will move faster. I'll just buy the granary. Okay. So one city down. <laughs> one down, thousands to go. Oh wait, wrong game. Our spy got promoted. A disrupt rocketry is two levels, uh, as if two levels more experienced. I think I'll grab that. Yeah, let's grab that. And we could try to disrupt some rocketry, perhaps. Might work. How's food in here? 5.7, not that great. Okay then. A steel tech boost. We stole robotics boost. That's nice, I guess. Uh, I was about to get it myself, but all right, all right. That's the final promotion. He has disguise and technologies right now. I could get steel great works, or I could get ace driver. Probably better to get ace driver because I don't want him to get killed. Yeah, let's get Ace Driver to actually keep him alive. I can still steal a few more boosts easily. Art Museum. Uh, that's the spy who will repair the tiles I pillaged. So, let's keep moving. Yeah, look at this. What is the AI even thinking, moving in with a tank like this? Like, that's just silly. I don't know what they're thinking, but it's not very smart. I know as much. Okay, let's kick his ass. Bye-bye. Thanks for the era score. Okay, don't quite need a sewer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't need much of anything in here, really. We can repair the walls. Uh, one more tank to get rid of. Nice. More era score. Uh, more stuff up here. Good damage. He still doesn't seem to be doing much with his own jet fighters. See, that's very strange. 
He should be doing something with them, not just like chilling at the aerodrome. Like that makes no sense. But whatever floats their boat. Okay, we got the machine gun here. Uh, I can hit it with my own, kind of. Uh, here's another promotion. Uh, let's move into the encampment and then pick up the promotion. There you go. Use the machine gun. And finish the job. With somebody else. Uh, with the modern AT. That'll do. Okay, where are we going now? Into the city. That will be in range of Braga and uh, Ponta Delgada as well, because I have four tile range and I have a drone. It will be in range of all three of these cities. I can attack them from inside Funchal. That's the plan, basically. I can also attack this one from inside the encampment. Okay, that's my third rocket artillery, so right here. So that it will be uh, yeah, in range. Yeah, this should be fine. Or where the vampire is. We can take Ponta Delgada first, because that should give me access to the coast in some capacity. And I would like that. Yeah, this belongs to Ponta Delgada, so... We'll have at least, like, one coastal tile here. So that's what we'll take. And then probably Braga. Like, I want the coast, damn it. And maybe we'll get that oil, but I would have to take Faro to get that, most likely. And let's not get ahead of ourselves. Any solo modern AT here? Uh, no. Actually, yes. Right here. Sort of. Okay. He needs an upgrade. This guy... Okay, right. He's a rocket scientist. I think I need to go to Porto, but I have a spy in there already. Lisbon. Oh yeah, Lisbon as well. It does have a spaceport. This one. Okay, Lisbon. I can also just capture Lisbon. I might do that. But one city at a time. And now I don't want to remove him from the game. That might be the last antiquity site now, so all right. How's the Manhattan project? Because I'm still hoping we'll get a chance to use nukes. I was building it somewhere. Did I finish it already? I think I might have finished it. Oh no, it's about to finish, right here in Shenyang. It's literally finished right now. When we look up at night, nice. I shall return again. <laughs> and we finished environmentalism on the same turn. Yep, we care about the environment, guys. That's why we're running the Manhattan Project. That's the reason. Oh yeah, airport. So that I can airlift if needed. Uh, social media first, I guess. Great scientist. It's Schrodinger, alright. Do I even need him? Atomic and information era. I mean, yeah, kind of. Telecommunications and stealth technology. That's the only two techs left in information era that I need the boosts for. That might not be worth it. Okay, that might not be worth it. Yeah, no, that's not worth it. I can do them in two turns. I don't think that would even save me any time at all. Like, literally, I don't think that would save me any time. So I'll pass. 
Uh, get Zanzi bar back. Did they improve that uranium yet? Uh, no. Well, that's annoying, but all right. They'll get it eventually. <laughs> Hopium. Okay, this guy needs an upgrade. And then get that army. Done. And move out of bombardment range. And let's attack Ponta Delgada, like I said. It also has the Ruhr Valley, so that's nice. It has Statue of Zeus, okay. Theater Square with plus six. It has Huey Teokali on a lake. It's a pretty nice city. It shouldn't take long. Maybe a little bit longer. Oh, it, it does have 123, but we'll get it. I'll get experience, if nothing else. So. <laughs> Georgia is sending some pretty outdated Yonis here. But at least they are sending something. Well, they are sending something. I'll give them some credit for that. Any targets? No, not really. I guess I'll just target the city. And maybe move the jet fighter a bit closer. Okay. So let's repair the tiles we pillaged down here. Okay, now I could stay here. We can still get some tech boosts. Let's try. Okay, let's try. If I can steal a tech boss, that would be useful. Still. Come at me, bro. Nice battleship armada. Did they really build a naval units on that lake with no canal to get into the ocean? Yeah, they did. Robotics has been around. Which of all my they actually did. Because he has no way to leave this lake. And he's building missile cruisers on the lake. Silly AI. Well, that's AI for you. AI is gonna do AI things. This might take a while. Yeah, probably like seven or eight turns from the current pace. He's still not doing anything with his jet fighters. I don't know what's up with that, but it's a bit silly. Okay, there's the promotion. Okay, slightly more useful scientist, but it's only artifacts from a single city. It's just slightly more than a single turn worth of my science. So I don't think that's worth it. If this was like all your artifacts, or artifacts from like all cities within certain range, It's mostly useful if you're going for a culture victory, for the tourism. I don't care about the tourism part. I could still pick her up just so that Russia will not be able to get her. I don't think Russia will be able to win, but I could do that. I guess I could do that. Okay, fine. Wait, what? I just finished the airport. I thought that was my second airport, not first. Right, I'm not waiting any longer. We'll just finish this in one turn. I want my tier 4 government at this point. So, back to Beijing. Uh, right, that's going to be... 
Mars Colony, obviously. And we can pick up... Uh, no, not you. Pingala, Space Initiative. There you go. So that saved me two turns. How is Portugal doing on science stuff? Uh, he's made no progress. He does have nanotechnology. So he's probably working uh, on the Mars colony somewhere. But I am currently disrupting rocketry in his capital. Hopefully that will work out. We'll see. Operation Ivy, nine turns. Yeah, let's do that. It's just a shame I don't have uranium, but... Let's do Operation Ivy. In case I do actually get uranium. Hopefully Zanzibar will improve it eventually. I'm basically waiting for them to do that. Okay, I got that mobile sum, but I, I doesn't seem to be actually doing anything uh, with his air units, so... I don't think that mobile sum will be particularly useful for anything. Still, we got one anyway. Let's just spam some uh, modern AT then. As for Sao Paulo... Yeah, just grab the industrial zone. And that's the city we captured. Not a whole lot I can do here that would be useful at the moment. It does have the encampment. I suppose I can just queue something up in there to keep it busy. Oh yeah, supply convoy might actually be kind of, sort of useful. Okay, yeah, supply convoy can be useful and I can get one in four turns. So that's acceptable. Here's the promotion for the jet fighter. So I guess I'll take dogfighting in case Portugal actually decides to do something with his jet fighters. He's keeping four jet fighters in that aerodrome and they aren't actually doing literally anything at all. But just in case they decide to actually do something. Okay, that's just a machine gun in case he shows up with more units. I will probably go for the capital, but... First, let's grab the cities down here. Definitely Braga and Pol Porta Ponta Delgada, and then I can go for Lisbon. There, so next up we'll get our tier 4 government. That should be helpful. Keep going. I should probably get like a stealth bomber or two. That would also be helpful, actually. I don't need the tech. Maybe we'll steal the boost for this. And then we could grab it. Because I don't want to waste time researching it too much. I'd rather focus on, you know, actually winning this game. And that is what I'm focusing on right now. Another governor title. So I could grab uh, one more vampire, actually. And with this, I could use Vampire Castles to airlift. Where are my Vampire Castles again? So one here, one here, one here. Okay. I could technically get a fourth one somewhere, like very close to Portugal. As in, not necessarily for the yields, but for that ability to teleport. Not that it matters too much, but just saying it's an option. Oh yeah, this requires Atomic Era, and I'm not in Atomic Era yet. Never mind, never mind. 
I might just save that governor title for now. The only thing it would be useful for is Garrison Commander. I guess we can take Garrison Commander, okay. Is the combat bonus, but also, more importantly, the loyalty. Within, four, within nine tiles of Victor, and he's already right here in the middle. I think Lisbon is within nine tiles too, is it? One, two, three, four, four. yes, it is. So it will also affect Lisbon once we take it. A promotion for the spy, good. Neutralize governor. Uh, okay, do I have a quartermaster? I don't remember. Was this guy a quartermaster? No, surveillance and polygraph. I don't think I have a quartermaster. And I had another spy. Uh, where was another counter spy? Or is this the only one? And that's my only counter spy right now. Okay. Interesting. Dog fighting again. It's funny how I can use a bombardment uh, on jet fighters stationed at the aerodrome and the AI will still not do anything about it. Like, that's just silly. They are literally just standing there and letting me bombard them with my encampment. It's so silly. But all right, that's AI for you. Not very surprising. All right, let's just deploy. Okay, that'll do. So I'll pick up Quartermaster and send him back home. He can protect my other spaceport, actually. Because I'll need it a little bit later. We find okay, there's our tier for government. So, let's see. Uh, we wanted the obvious policies, so International Space Agency, Collective Activism. This is a good amount of gold, but I probably don't need it as much anymore. I don't want e-commerce. I probably can't get everything that I want. Yeah, communist legacy would be plus 50 to production. Not sure what I want for my last one. I could get the gold. I could get the production, I could even get housing, and I could get resource management. I think I actually, yeah, I actually need resource management. Yeah, okay, I need the resource management. So resource management it is then. I suppose this will have to do. Okay, it's fine. Done. Oh yeah, there we go. Smart materials, good. And looks like we'll need to research everything. All right. I guess we'll research everything. But we can grab smart materials now, that's good. I'm actually a little bit behind in production. Because we haven't finished the Mars Colony yet, and then I'll still need to do Exoplanet Expedition. Let's check great people. Engineer, yeah, that's the wrong engineer, damn it. I need the engineers that would help with the space project. Or the scientist, but yeah, that's not the one either. <laughs> 40,000 gold. 
to buy him. Uh, how about no? Well, I could get this crappy engineer here, but I don't want this one, damn it. I want the ones for the space project, not this crap. Musician. Amenities look fine-ish. But alright, stadium. Uh, that's a pretty nice trade route. 28 gold, free production. Heck yeah. Still no uranium from Zanzibar. Yeah, it's going to take forever before they actually get it. Alright. I guess at this point I don't really care anymore. I'm winning a conventional war. Shells. Shells. Would be nice to speed this up a little. Right, I will take damage if I uh, attack near the missile cruiser. But still, it's fine. I can just go back and repair, it's fine. I want to speed things up. Yeah, so this guy is the quartermaster, he can go and protect the other spaceport in Chengdu. Off you go then. <laughs> Man, this is so silly. It's just dumb. I don't get how the AI can be that stupid. They are literally at war with me. I'm attacking them. They got four jet fighters. And they are just sitting there doing nothing, letting me attack them. Like, what? I just don't get it. Like, it's not exactly some complicated logic, alright? You have the units right here. You just need to give them the order. Oh, hey, uh, there's the Bolshoi Theater. Okay. All right, all right. Not that I needed it that much, but there it is. So... Eh. Well, this city does not have a campus, so I can't spam campus research grants. I could do Theater Square Festival. So next up, I guess we can get global warming mitigation. I got 13 envoys. I can probably yoink a city-state here. I would normally get Auckland, but I have no cost whatsoever. Bologna is nice. Ish. Not super useful for me, but... None of these are amazingly useful for me at this stage of the game. But okay, this is kind of useful for some more great people. We'd grab it. That leaves me with five envoys. Alright, let's keep going. We're getting there. It should be done pretty soon. Okay, I think I might go back to base now and repair a little. And let's move in with some Mala here. Probably the vampire. Where are the vampires now? I'm losing track of where everyone is. Uh, two of them were healing. Okay, there's one over here. This is close enough. For now. And I tick row. 
Yeah, I don't want to be in range just yet. It's just not needed yet. I want to be in range ish. The lack of oil is really hurting me, but. Oh well, I mean, at least I had one. It would have been much worse if I had none. If I had none, I probably wouldn't be able to do this. Or it would have been more tricky and more annoying. Right, but that's a counter spy for the spaceport. And I destroyed another jet fighter. That's now two jet fighters I destroyed without them doing literally anything. <laughs> oh hey, my warrior meets a destroyer armada. Well, he did his job. He founded a city-state. But apparently nobody else did. Okay, this should be ours pretty soon. It ascends from the there, we got smart materials. Now I just need to finish the project. I think this might be the first time when I'm like this far behind in terms of production. Because by the time I get smart materials, I'm usually just waiting to uh, send Exoplanet Expedition because everything else is done. Uh, this time, that's not the case. Wait, how are you not in range anymore? What? Oh, right, because I got a supply convoy, I have to move out. Fair enough. Here. I can take it on the next turn. Yep. Okay, good. And then I can go either for Lisbon directly or for Braga. Lisbon would probably be objectively better, because his spaceports are in Lisbon and in Porto. So I could just take his spaceport cities. And it's obviously his capital. Porto has 17 population, Braga has 13. And I could probably attack Porto from the north as well. I wonder if attacking these cities to the north will actually make him use the jet fighters. They're just sitting there, damn it. How hard can it be to just use them? All right, let's just... I guess I can do some campus research grants. All right, that's fine. I'll still need that final tech. Was there some oil over here that I could take over? Oh yeah, there wasn't. Just this coastal one. So not really. There's one to the north, and there's the coastal one, so I can't take any oil easily from Portugal. This is just bad luck all around when it comes to oil. It's a good thing I had at least one, but <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really make me feel that much better about it. Just saying. Hey, I saved my warrior. <laughs> from the destroyer armada. Apparently the destroyers were not very competent. <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. Uh, that's the rocket scientist. Yeah, so let's disrupt rocketry. I could gain sources first, but I don't really want to do that. It will take 8 turns. I don't think I want to wait 8 turns. No, I don't want to wait 8 turns. Let's just do it right away. No, I actually destroyed some of his planes. Like, I actually destroyed them. 
while they were just like doing nothing. I mean, I do pretty good damage to them when I attack them with the jet fighter. Check this. See? Oh, I destroyed that one. It had eight. It had six health left, so I destroyed it. But normally it's like seventy damage. So I destroyed that one. He didn't go anywhere. He got wrecked. Where do you think you're going? Uh, okay, hold on. Do I have something in range here? No, they're really? Well, the vampire, kind of. Okay, then. Well, it's fine. He might pillage my tile, but whatever. Uh, here's Portugal. Yeah, they only have the uh, two sources that I showed you. They don't have uranium. They don't have a whole lot. Alright, let's take the city, shall we? Promotion can wait. There, got it. Uh, okay, vampire. Nice. Obviously, keep it. We can move. It doesn't really matter who all that much. Reyna. Reyna is here. What other governors I have? I guess I could move Magnus. Don't really need him in Sao Paulo all that much. Okay, we can move Magnus. Off you go, then. I might want to get rid of that missile cruiser, but okay. We can do some drive-by damage, probably. Oh, one shot. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't take long. Rebase. Maybe to the north a bit. Okay. That'll do. We're getting there and we captured Ruhr Valley with this city, so that's not too bad. It's a pretty decent city. So I think next up I'll go for Lisbon. Because I could take Braga, but one, Lisbon also has coast, and Lisbon is their capital, and Lisbon is working on space stuff. So that's a much more obvious target, I would think. Definitely. Alright, Lisbon it is then. Yeah, now we have a little bit of coast. Finally. Took long enough. If only this horse wasn't here, I could build a canal. It looks like Braga also has a spaceport, alright. Oh, well, we can take all of them, but one by one. First, I would like to get the, take the capital, though. Hey, that's my builder, how rude. Bye bye. Okay, not quite what I wanted, but fine. I want to get rid of that mechanized army. Yeah, promotion will have to wait. Got it. And get my builder back, thanks. Any other idle jet fighters? Yeah, the one up here. 
see, I destroyed his last jet fighter. So I destroyed four jet fighters at the aerodrome before they did literally anything at all. Like, they didn't do anything. It's just a bit silly. But that's AI for you. Oh yeah, that tank is still there. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. I don't think he pillaged anything. No, he did not. Alright, the broadcast center. I guess I can spam some carbon recapture. <laughs> I actually have a lot of diplomatic favor. Wait, what's happening here? Why can I not finish my industrial zone? Oh. Oh, uh, the city-state is at war with me. Okay then, that's a bit annoying. Let's get some cheap unit. Machine gun or something. <laughs> I can send the warrior back home. He'll get there eventually. Heal up the vampire. Alright. So Lisbon next. I just need to move closer. Uh, his traders are immune, alright. Fine. Here, we can attack already. Yeah, this will take a little bit of time, I'm afraid. But alright, at least we'll get started. Right, we are still not in Atomic Era, so I cannot pick up Endless Night. This is all Modern Era still. Like, this is Modern Era. Ten more turns of Modern Era. World Congress, right. Uh, okay, hold on. Plus 100% production. Oh yeah, towards buildings, never mind. I'll vote for myself here. I think Canada is actually kind of close-ish. Yeah, let's vote against Canada, actually. Uh, whoops. Yeah, here. Canada. Okay, nine votes. I need them to lose some points. There's the Mars Colony, good. Uh, okay, Russia gained the two points, fine. If the enemy know not where he... We stole a tech boost. Oh, off world mission. Okay, oh, that's good because now, yeah, I can see where it is. I already kind of knew it has to be here, but now we got it boosted. Very nice. So I don't need cybernetics, just seasteads and advanced AI. Okay, then. Still not the engineer I wanted. Pass. Back to Beijing real quick. 31 pop in Beijing. Okay. Launch Exoplanet Expedition. Eight turns. And finish show that submarine. Not that it can do anything, but I would still prefer to get rid of it. Promotion, so dog fighting. Okay, one more jet fighter. Yeah, minus five. Not a whole lot, but whatever. 
It's something. Back to Lisbon. Uh, let's start attacking it with everything here. So, you guys. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we can be here, that's fine. Shells and Expert Crow will be next. Here, that's good. Good enough. Don't really need anything in Ponta Delgada here. I guess we can get a food market or something like that. We're getting pretty close to the end. This might be like the first game in a while where I want to get a chance to nuke anyone. Because I just don't have the uranium. So that's disappointing. We captured some coal with this city, so I guess there's that at least. And the lake. And some coast. But he doesn't have an actual harbor in here, does he? No, he does not. So we have the coast, but we don't have a harbor yet. I guess I could... no, could I build one? Yeah, I could build one. But I would need more population first. I would need 16 pop, so that's not gonna happen. Right, that's my ace driver technologist. Probably no point stealing any tech boosts anymore, no. No point. I could disrupt rocketry, it's 74%. Maybe gain sources first. I don't want this guy to get killed. That's my top spy. Hey, that's not very nice. You want peace? Sorry, buddy. I have a slightly different plan for you. Okay, I need to get rid of these dudes. Wait, what? Oh, down here, okay. Uh, out of range, really? That's disappointing. That's enough, good. I guess I'll have to deploy. Okay, deploy. That should be close enough. Promotion. So, let's attack Lisbon. It has 130 garrison defense, so this will take a little bit of time. It won't be that bad, probably like 5 turns or so. Something like that, around 5 turns. Uh, right, I want to grab the coal, but I need to actually protect the builder. So we'll use the vampire, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, what? Oh, Portugal levied units from Mogadishu. Well, good for them. Good luck actually getting anything done with that. Let me know how that works out for you. Did he take out my vampire there? Oh uh, yeah, he did. Alright. Yeah, if I go here to get that call, I think he's going to kill my builder. I guess that call is not that important. It can wait. Alright, back to Lisbon again. It's down to about a half fortification, or garrison rather. Yeah, for half, less than half fortification. It won't take long. That's the stadium, right?
Yep, he did take out the vampire, all right. Oh, I killed his unit already. Well, that was quick. And, you know, I often play on Pangea to avoid a situation exactly like this, where one AI effectively has an entire landmass to themselves, and it still happened with Russia, because they effectively had this entire part of the landmass all to themselves, only with this one, like, bottleneck right here. So it's technically Pangea, but it might as well be, like, a small extra continent that they had to themselves. Because from my point of view, that's what it is. Alright, back to Lisbon again. It's going down. Slowly, but it is going down. Uh, let's grab some food, I suppose. Uh, right, the builder. Don't remember what I was getting him for, but all right. I oh, just in case something get pillaged. Other than that, well, no real need for campus research grants anymore. Maybe I'll just do carbon recapture or something. We can send some aid as well. Oh yeah, how's diplomatic victory status now? Okay, Canada is still at 12, I'm at 10. Okay, nobody is even close. Good. That's good. Yeah, I think I might just do carbon recapture for a while. Again, no point doing campus research grants anymore. And I'll just disband this guy. Or I can, like, send him all the way home. Oh, it's because, right, I... Uh, Lost the alliances, or rather, they expired. Fine. Let's get them real quick. This was a research alliance. And this was military. And done. Okay, and just send him home. Oh, I also had a skirmish shirt still. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Didn't realize I still had a skirmish shirt out there and a warrior. Well, they did their job, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's back up with these vampires here. Too close to the border right now. A while ago, I rolled the map that was basically also technically Pangea, but it was two big continents, roughly the same size, and they were connected with a one tile wide land bridge, and that land bridge had the mountain in the middle. I think I still had to have a screenshot of it somewhere. I might even have the seed saved. But it was actually ridiculous. You couldn't even actually walk across because it had a mountain in the middle, so it was blocked. So it was effectively two continents. It just looked absolutely ridiculous. Oh hey, he's actually sending some rocket artillery now. A bit too late, buddy. Just a little bit too late. Should have done it earlier, you had the time. Now it's too late. Okay, I can get Expert Crew, but yeah, I want to keep doing the damage for now. Actual use? Nope, not useful. Well, kind of useful. Okay, fine, I'll grab that one. A lot of my cities are capped on housing, so I suppose it's useful. 
how's the space project? Okay, four turns to launch exoplanet expedition, and then we can start doing laser station stuff. Right, that's housing and amenities. Uh, okay, my capital could actually use that, I guess. Here you go. I can actually do industrial zone logistics instead of, like, carbon recapture. I think Lisbon will be mine on the next turn. Yep. Pretty sure it will be. Yeah, it will definitely be mine on the next turn. So we are pretty close to done now. And no need for more modern ATs. Which leader was I planning on playing? You mean on the map I was just talking about or for my next game? No, my friend. I don't want to play uh, on the earth. No. It was Yetan, or however you pronounce that, for the early game spy. Because she gets a spy after defensive uh, defensive whatever it's called. In classical era, basically. So that's an absurdly early spy. Where the heck is it? It's a civic. Defensive tactics, that's the one. So that's a super early spy. I want to check that out. So that's what I'm thinking. And not sure when the next update for the leader pass is coming. I have to look it up. But it shouldn't be too soon. I mean, the Chinese one was just released, what, a week ago? A bit more than that? I guess now I can get stealth technology, all right? We'll do that. We're pretty close to done now. Yeah, let's just spam some industrial zone logistics where possible. I can send some aid, I guess. Okay, that's a lot of crap. Oh yeah, I can queue up an army here, so let's just do that. Where's modern 80? What the heck? Oh yeah, uh, right here. Just queue up modern 80 armor uh, to keep them busy. That'll do. Uh, so, one more charge. Here. There you go. So, let's take Lisbon. There, done. It's ours now. Thanks for the city, bro. Nice. Right, that was my spy with rocket scientist, and he did get a promotion. A time to complete missions reduced by 25%. We can get that. We are still not in Atomic Era, so I still can't get my last uh, promotion for my last vampire. Because, again, that requires Atomic Era, and we are not in Atomic Era. Uh, all right. So these are all missile cruisers, but just in case they have a destroyer somewhere, I will take them out. Yeah, probably not with a jet fighter, but I can finish out the nuclear submarine with it. Okay, now I can pick up expert crew on this guy. There you go. 
and the other one is not quite there yet, so let's move closer. I think next we'll go for Porto. I could also just end this war now, but we can go for Porto, it's fine. Porto and then Braga or something. Did he actually make any progress whatsoever? Uh, where is it? Okay, he launched the Mars colony, but he doesn't have smart materials yet. So probably best to take out uh, his spaceports. We'll stay at war. Can you just keep your orders or something? Okay. Yeah, I see it. I mean, it's not like he can keep it a city or anything like that. But AI is too stupid like to do it properly, because there's only one single coastal tile the city can be entered from. And AI is really bad at using his units properly. More error score. Okay, let's take out... Let's see... I can't even see where he moved the destroyer. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. Oh, I didn't think that would be 100 damage. <laughs> Got it? Archaeologist? Uh, no thanks, that's not super useful. I can repair the spaceport and maybe even use it myself by the time we're done with this game. Right, let's move out of the city just in case. I still got to move on my rocket artillery. Okay, the drones are out of moves. All right, we'll do it on... I kind of want to go for Porto. And that's a bigger city. More important one with a spaceport. Yeah, we'll go for Porto. This one should be a little bit faster than Lisbon. Lisbon had what? 130? Porto has 117? Okay, well, I don't need anything else in here anymore, but we'll still research it. Because I have to research something. I do have a counter spy in Beijing. So there's no need to keep him here. And that's actually a surveillance counter spy, so he's defending all of the districts. But I also have no need... Well, I could try to counter his stuff in Braga, actually. Because by the time he would finish spying, Porto will be mine. But we can maybe do it in Braga instead. Sounds good. Uh, Faith. Well, maybe some great person, but not much I can do with it. Otherwise. Okay, there's the engineer I would like, but that's a bit too expensive at the moment. Technically, I almost have enough gold to get him right now. Almost enough. Actually, almost enough. But I'm about to launch Exoplanet Expedition, so it won't really matter that much after. Okay, here. His destroyer is coming back. Let's take it out. Fifty-two. And that's out of range. Go. 
got him. Nice. Where's the last jet fighter? Right here. Okay. And that's the unit with expert crew. And this one as well. I want to take out that battleship though. Here, done. Porto will go down pretty quickly, it's fine. A biosphere! <laughs> okay, I mean... I guess I can build it, because I can. I think the game will be done by the time it's finished. But it will keep the city busy with something. Well, Cheng, though, will be working on the laser stuff soon, actually. Yep. Literally on the next turn. Right, I can still get great engineer points. That would potentially save me, like, a turn or two. Basically, a turn or two. If I can get that engineer. But it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, this was a pretty interesting game. I don't think I ever flipped as many cities with loyalty as I did in this one single game. I don't remember how many it was, but I think it was five or six? It was definitely five, at least, I think. It was quite a few. It was quite a few. Partially because I had so much population. Beijing will end up being 32. Alright, now we can spam the laser station stuff. Here you go, and in Chengdu. Okay, really? I have to remove all that manually? And now it's just a matter of waiting a few turns. And that's going to be it. Okay, I don't need campus research grants, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Just to give the city something to do. Actually, yeah, let's just focus on industrial zone logistics where possible. One more submarine. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Okay, Porto. Yeah, I'm out of bombardment range, that's good. I think, like, one more turn after this might be enough. Uh, two turns max. And that is ours. Yep, two turns max. Let's move that modern AT up front. And I think I might peace out after this. Like, sure, I could attack Braga, but there's really no point. He doesn't have smart materials, he didn't launch Exoplanet Expedition. So really, we'll take Porto and then we can just peace out, it's fine. Yeah, no need to stay here because this city is literally about to be mine. So no need to stay, it won't really achieve anything. And let's just go somewhere. I can protect one of my cities. But we're effectively almost done. This was a pretty fun game. It's still pretty early, turn 250. We are still in modern era. Honestly, this is something I don't like too much about Civ 6. 
because if you're really min max, you can finish a data game before turn 200. Like, it's not particularly outlandish to finish a data game before turn 200. But that also means you skip the entire mid late game. Even here, like, turn 250 is still relatively early. I'm still in modern era. Like, I'm actually still in modern era. So I don't like that too much because I really enjoyed the mid late game wars in C5. Sure, I have a war here, but AI isn't really putting up much of a fight. Like the mid late game in general was, in my opinion, more fun in Civ 5. I enjoyed it more in Civ 5. One of the things I really liked in Civ 5 uh, was like the diplomatic shuffle after ideologies. Because the game had the potential to change completely, diplomatically, after everyone implemented their ideologies in Civ 5. There isn't really any such shift in Civ 6. And I really like that part of C5. You could do some really fun diplomatic stuff with it in C5. Uh, yes, you can uh, do... I actually didn't really use epic game pace in C6. Maybe I'll try that uh, at some point. I mostly play on standard speed. I suppose I could try quick and I could try epic at some point. We'll see. Haven't really considered it. Alright, let's take Porto. Yep, that's enough, I think. Yep, got it. Alright then. Yeah, so I still can't pick up the uh, John Death robot thing because that's uh, information error. And the game will be long done before that. Oh yeah, and that we can do the station thing, because this city has a spaceport. It's just that it will not finish in time. So there's not that much point doing it. It will not be done quickly enough. Now Coimbra will flip. So now I think I'll just finish it. Yeah, keep the city, obviously. Yeah, I think this is it. And there's really not that much point staying at war with him. We can peace out. Maybe he will give me this city. Yeah, he would actually give me Coimbra here. All right. I'll accept it. Probably because he's losing loyalty there and he has no way to keep it. Like, he cannot keep it. There's no way for him to do that. I can get some oil. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, my GPO is doing some weird stuff. Okay, let's get some oil from him. Okay, I guess that's it. And gold. <laughs> All of the gold. Okay, he has a pretty crazy amount of gold, but that's Portugal for you. Just doing Portugal things. How much will he actually give me here? Over 400 per turn? Okay, works for me. 420 gold per turn. Sure. Know how generous I am. I'm very, very generous indeed. He's not interested in an embassy. Oh. And we got ourselves a city for free. Very nice. Not that I need it, but hey. It was free. Commercial hub investment? Sure. Alright, let's finish this, shall we? Now it's just a matter of skipping a bunch of turns, basically. Now I can send a trade out to him or to Poland, to Bydgoszcz. You can stay here, and protect one of these. 
All right, I'll just chill now. We are done. Uh, let's see if we can get that engineer. Uh, yeah, I could just grab him. Yeah, I'll grab him. It has been said a four times. I think this uh, laser station project take exactly fifteen hundred, right? Uh, which city was it? Porto. Yeah, yeah. No, well, it's even less than that. So I could do it in Porto because it has way less production. Oh, somehow it doesn't have a flood barrier, okay. That's a bit weird, but fine. That is a bit weird. So let's buy that guy to speed things up. Yeah, I'll just use gold. And then we'll pop him again, like I said, in Porto. First, I have to move him. <laughs> Expert crew. A, a little bit late for that, but all right. Good for you. You actually got expert crew. Hmm. Okay, now this shouldn't take longer than like six, seven turns. It was a pretty fun game. We are at 700 science per turn. Alright, so move him over to Porto. Just need to move that civilian unit out. And then we'll finish it instantly. I should probably just shift enter, to be honest. Okay, this rocket rocketry. Not that it changes anything, but we're here. Might as well do it. Go on. Oh, and he should have two charges, which means I can do it twice. Just to speed things up a little. Here are two more. Okay, so let's pop that. Uh, I assume that's the one. Yep, that's the one. So that will be instant. Oh, no, he had one charge, right. That's the one game where I don't have the mausoleum. <laughs> I usually build it, so I usually assume that I have it. Obviously, I couldn't in this game, because I had no cause. Until now. Great artist. Sure, you can paint our space rocket. Yeah, no mausoleum. We're actually flipping that city with oil. <laughs> yeah, if I cared about that, I could actually take oil like that without being at war. But it doesn't matter anymore because we're effectively done at this point. I suppose I'll leave this on. Yeah. I'll leave it on. Pretty sure we'll be done before it can finish. But just in case we're not. Yeah, Chengdu slowed down a little. And Chengdu can't do it in two turns. It's three turns. But Beijing can do it in two turns. My production is not actually that impressive in this game. I mean, it's decent, but I've had much better before. Oh yeah, we repaired the spaceport. Six turns? Okay. <laughs> the skirmisher came back. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah, this is usually the kind of stuff that I just cut out. And I've been using uh, some software that helps out with that a little bit. So I managed to at least partially automate it. Still have to like do some corrections manually, but it saves a little bit of time. But normally like this is the kind of stuff I would be cutting out because there's really not much point showing it like nothing is actually happening i'm just waiting as you can see like honestly i don't even have to do all of this city management stuff i can just shift enter shift enter shift enter and that would do the trick hence why i'm just spamming some project and filling up the queue. Any more great people coming up? Uh, okay, nothing useful. Okay, another one, another one. We are moving at eight light years per turn. Okay, yeah, so a few more turns and that's going to be it. Oh, it just it cuts, makes some cuts. It cuts out silence, basically. But you can do some adjustments. Tell it how aggressively to do it. Even though the uh, what kind of volume it should trigger. From. Like, there are some options to customize it a little. It's not always perfect. But it does save me some time. And then uh, you can export uh, one of the formats like XML, uh, ED, something. Like there are three or four different formats uh, of files that you can export to your editing software uh, and import a timeline, basically. So like you don't have to render anything. You just export a timeline with the cuts already made and you import the timeline into your editing software along with the uh, raw source file. So there's no extra rendering involved. Yeah, yeah, so I can just not say anything, leave some silence in there when I know in advance I want to cut this uh, fragment out. So I can just not talk, then there will be like a bunch of silence left and I will use the software to remove that automatically, which saves me a bunch of time. It does involve recording a little bit differently, so I need to get used to that method a bit more but it actually saves potentially a lot of time and that guy was actually useless but all right <clears throat> yeah the next one would be kind of useful but not really but i should have passed on that scientist there the next one would have been more useful doesn't matter though, because we just won. Much as our ancestors. It wouldn't actually have saved me any time. So, okay, that was quite a fun game. Let's check some graphs. Uh, we are yellow. Portugal is here, dark blue. I can barely see the dark blue here. The light blue is Russia. Yeah, these colors should be a little bit different. Like, Poland and Korea are pretty similar. Portugal and Russia are also pretty similar. Uh, anyway, player culture. <laughs> I was ahead of Russia in culture towards the end there. And he was focusing on culture this entire game. I wasn't. Uh, what else? Yeah, cities captured. Guess who's in the lead? Cities lost. So, okay, Pedro only lost the cities that he lost to loyalty pressure from me, I think. Player fate. 
<laughs> I got a nice fade boost towards the end there. Player gold. Yeah, we're in the lead. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> I like how my gold just goes parabolic here. <laughs> it literally went parabolic. Science. Yeah, my science also went parabolic. Pretty much. But yeah, see how far ahead Portugal was? Like, he was visibly way ahead for a while. And it started around the turn... I don't know what turn this is. Around turn 70 or so? Yeah, it started around turn 70. One graph I'm missing here uh, is the tech count. Wonders constructed. Okay, yeah, also Portugal. Unis uh, lost. Apparently Poland. Okay, I think that's all. <laughs> Total religions founded. Truly the most useful graph. What would we possibly do without it? Definitely the most useful graph. Yeah, that's unit lost, unit killed. Alright, well, uh, that's going to be it for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yes, there are wonders built. Right here. Portugal was in the lead, but I was second, actually. I was second. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this game. It was quite fun. I think I will do uh, China again next. But all three of the new Chinese leaders are interesting. And the other guy, like, I don't remember what his name is. But the other guy actually gives you a good reason to play with the uh, zombie mode. Because I usually don't use zombie mode because it's kind of pointless. But he has the ability where he can, like, sacrifice a unit uh, to capture, and uh, to take control of an adjacent unit. And it works on the zombies in zombie mode. So that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, that guy. So I might do that as well, because that sounds pretty fun. Maybe I'll do that. Either way, that's going to be it for today. So thanks everyone for coming and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.